All right, what's up, everyone? My name is Reacts, and welcome back to day six of the Green Day album review marathon. But yeah, last time for day five of the Green Day Marathon, we reacted to their album Nimrod, which was their fifth studio album. And holy crap, I can't believe I'm saying this. Even that was a somehow even bigger step up from Insomniac. So that had me very excited for this album, which is their sixth studio album, Warning. Now, I'm gonna be for real with you. I had no clue this album existed. It's weirdly sandwiched between Nimrod and American Idi Idiot, which I've listened to Insomniac, Nimrod, American Idiot, and 21st Century Breakdown a lot as a kid. So going my entire life not knowing this album even existed is kind of shocking. So this is definitely gonna be an interesting video. But other than that, if you're new to the channel, like with C, please consider subscribing. It's free to help out the channel a lot. We're actually about to 10,000 subscribers. And make sure you guys do turn on the post notification bell because YouTube YouTube does not like to tell people I post when I upload videos. I don't know why, but other than that, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see y'all later. Peace. All right. So the first track is track number one, which ironically is just the title track, Warning. All right. So lyrics. Yes, there is. Let's go. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like those little, you know, alarms that are going off in the background. This is a nice little detail. I mean, so far, nothing too insane, you know? But it's not bad. It's definitely, like, so far, it feels like a, definitely a different approach. Like, it's not very, like, you know, it's not, like, not a hard song, you know? Like, it's more of, like, a kind of, like, an alternative folkish type, you know? It's not, like, anything hard, but it's more, like, going down that, like, folk route. Where it's more just, like, a normal acoustic guitar, and it's focused more on that. All right, not bad. All right. Oh, I don't know. I went all the way up. I like the message of the song a lot. Outside of that, there's nothing too insane about it. That's not bad, honestly. Um. To, oh, that. Whoa, the wrong. Whoa. Apologies, my bad. Um, but yeah, that was track number one, Warning. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's interesting because obviously, like, you could tell they're definitely going like a different approach compared to their last albums because their last albums were very, like, you know, more like heavier punk rock, but and like pop rock, but or pop punk. But this one, already with this song, it feels like they're kind of going a completely different lane with this, which is kind of making me think that the rest of this album isn't going to be very, like, it's definitely going to lean back off that more heavier uh, pop punk style and probably go for more like a just a you know usual um alternative maybe folk alternative album um but yeah it wasn't bad i'll i'll, I'll give it a w you know um would i return to it i don't know um but i will say i do like the lyrics you know having you know talking a lot more about always having to live your uh, life in fear especially when it comes to people like you know the authority how being power hungry and you know stuff like that but yeah, it was all right. On to the next track though, which is track number two, Blood, Sex, and Booze. Okay. Okay. Never mind. They're going back to more. Ooh. Yeah, they're definitely. Okay, so this one, it seems like they're definitely going back into more of that a pop punk area, but like not too much. They're still like. You know, they kind of just, it doesn't feel like they kind of know what they want to do with this one. You know, it doesn't, it feels like they don't really know if they want it to be pop punk or be more like the last track where it's more alternative. Um, so I'm pretty interested to see where this goes. Well, I'm sorry. She, her name's Kill. Book it. Okay. It's fun. It just kind of feels like it doesn't know what it wants to do, though. This kind of sucks, you know? Yeah, it just feels like it doesn't go anywhere, you know? Ooh, okay. Alright, now it's picking up a lot. That's getting, you know, it's picking up. It's still pretty messy, though, to be honest. I, I don't think I like it as much as the last track. 
Uh, I think it's going to transition to the next song. But yeah, that was track number two. To be honest, I didn't mind it, you know? I just feel like it kind of didn't know what it wanted to do, though. You know, I feel like at most parts, like it tried to kind of emulate, you know, the more pop rock feel that they were trying to do, you know, that they did with like previous albums. But I feel like it, they just didn't want to go into it. You know, it felt like they were trying to, you know, lean back a lot more with this track, um, trying to have it more similar to the last track while also combining elements from um previous albums but i do feel like it was a little bit messy you know i feel like it kind of just didn't really know what i wanted to do like it tried to do two things at once and i just feel like it just didn't you know work well with this track um that being said i do you know i don't think it's a bad track you know it's still like a pretty fun track and i feel like if it's just one of those songs that are like you know just playing randomly i wouldn't skip it you know so for that yeah like you know there is like the critiquing side of this but like if we're just talking about vibes give it a w you know not like a high w but like 7.4 out of 10 you know nothing bad but nothing that i would really go out of my way to listen to so yeah i didn't mind it but other than that next track is track number three church on sunday Ooh, okay Oh, this is a fun one. This is a lot more cheering or cheery. Yeah, I definitely like this. Uh, the last track. It's definitely trying to go into pop punk lane a lot more, but I feel like this one works a little bit better than the last track because I feel like the last track kind of do tried to do two things at once, but this one it's kind of staying in its own lane. You know, it's not trying to swerve into the lane that warning was in. You know, I don't mind this though. It's a vibe. This is fun. I really like this. Hey. Yeah, I really like this track a lot better than the last one. Okay. I like this a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Was that just my headphones? Hold on. Uh, ooh, I didn't like that part where like the drum kind of like went off. Um, it kind of just did its own thing for a second. That kind of just, I don't know. It just sounded very off. I didn't mind that. I actually really like that. I think so far the past three, I think this is my favorite one to be honest. Yeah, easy W. Genuinely, I really enjoyed that one. Um, I think that I like the fact that it kind of stood in its own lane. You know, it wasn't trying to do too many things at once like the last track was. Um, I I do feel like um it, it felt like it was still going a little bit safe, but it was definitely like a lot more of a cheery track. Um, instrumentally at least. Yeah, I don't I don't really have too many issues outside of that like one moment with like the drum kind of like going off on its own kind of just going off track a little bit and I, I just feel like that kind of took me out of it just just for like a split second you know but yeah i didn't mind that i do truly think though that this is my favorite so far out of three tracks so um but yeah on to the next one fashion victim all right damn i will say by the way sorry if i haven't really talked so far um, I do kind of like this approach that they're going for. Like, this more, like, experimental approach with, like, folk rock. It's not a bad idea, honestly. It's pretty interesting. I, I don't know. There's something about these tracks so far that has been kind of lacking for me. And I think it's kind of just, like, the energy. It's lacking that power that the last few albums had, you know? I feel like, the, like, Nimrod and Insomniac had, like, a lot of oomph to it and a lot of power to those tracks. And I feel like so far with these four tracks, just not much you know i feel like there's not much energy in it not much power in it and it just kind of you know feels a little bit lackluster you know um even though they're you know so far they've been pretty solid songs i just feel like they're just not much to really go off by Ooh. that's not bad yeah i gotta stop recording videos this late it's almost 12 o'clock um, but yeah that was fashion victim honestly i didn't mind it i feel like again i don't think i liked it as much as the last track but like it's still a pretty solid track i do appreciate that it's still going for more of that like you know more of that rock area than the first two tracks tried to do i do think that 
I don't know. It's similar to the last track where I feel like it just doesn't have too much power. It's a lot more of a calm track. Um, obviously calm to an extent, but like compared to previous albums and previous tracks, it's definitely a lot more calmer. And maybe that's just what they're trying to go for, you know? I like W. Solid. But on to the next one, Castaway. Ooh. Hey. Hey, okay. Alright. Hey. This one's alright. It's just I it's like this one's just kind of like, you know, a whatever song. It, I'm just not really getting anything insane with this one. I don't know why. This one is giving me like sweet life on deck vibes. I, I don't know why. It just is. I it, like it just it's reminding me of sweet life on deck for some reason. Alright. You're gang gang somewhere. Oh, I haven't been showing lyrics at all this time. My bad. Cast away. Da, da, da. Cast away. It's a bop. I mean, it's nothing serious, to be honest. Honestly, this could have been the theme song to freaking Sweet Life on Deck, and I wouldn't I wouldn't have complained, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it was it was okay you know i'll give it like i'll give it a light w to be honest um well you know it's a fun track you know it's an interesting track it's the fun vibey bop of track I, it's definitely not a track i would probably go out of my way to listen to and i think that's kind of what it comes down to it's i just wouldn't find myself coming to listen to this track it just kind of gets repetitive after a bit sorry i honestly i just don't really know what to explain about that one i, I feel like it just kind of lacks the like energy of the last two tracks it's an all right track it's nothing it's not much it's not a serious track you know that that's really all i can say it's not a serious track but on to the next track which is misery make sure to lyrics to bring her up like halloween since now okay okay oh this oh okay it sounds like something like mcr would do Maybe should they should just leave it to My Chemical Romance to do songs like this. You know, it's too early to judge. Alright. I'm gonna be fair with you. This is too long of a track to be staying like this the whole time. I really hope there is some changes to this, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna be fair with you. This song's boring. This song's not that interesting to me. It's a cool, it's a cool concept, don't get me wrong, you know? Also, now that I think about it, when was, when was My Chemical Romance's first album? Because this came out in 2000, so their first single came out in 2002, so if anything, My Chemical Romance copied Green Day. Huh. Still think, uh, My Chemical Romance does it better, though. Yeah, I'm be for real with you guys. I mean this in the most respectful way possible. I had no interest in that song. That was one of the most boring five minutes of this entire marathon so far. That has been the most boring song yet. Literally nothing interesting happened that entire time. And I'm not saying that because every single song has to be like some powerful, like energetic song. But just in general, the lyrics weren't that interesting. Instrumentally, it just didn't do anything thing cool you know like i understand they tried something different and i appreciate the experimenting but in all honesty I i'm gonna have to give it a mid like i just i would never i would literally never listen to that song and honestly if that song were to play i would 100 percent skip it no offense but i would skip that yeah on to the next track which is deadbeat holiday okay Right. Oh, this one's fun. Lyrically depressing, but fun. Alright. Ooh, I like this rift. Alright. Not bad. I I didn't mind it, honestly. Um, I feel like very similar to the last, not the, no, not the last song, not even, 
close to the last song uh probably like fashion victim probably um it's it's fine you know like it's a fine song but it's just nothing insane there's nothing that really grasped my attention throughout the track and it really led me to kind of just want to browse on aoty to be honest because just really nothing was happening i'd give it like a light w to maybe even a high mid you know, it's kind of in that purgatory where I just don't know what to give it between those two ratings. For the most part, it's an alright song. But yeah, on to the next check, which is Hold On. Harmonicas? Alright. Alright. Oh, I actually like this. Oh, I like this, actually. I might have heard this song, honestly. It sounds familiar. This is actually the lowest track on this album on AO2I2, which is kind of crazy. But honestly, I, I really prefer it over Misery, which is ironically one of the highest, which I don't believe it is. It's definitely like nothing crazy, but it's a fun song. This is a lot more fun than the past two tracks. Hey. Honestly? That wasn't bad. I actually didn't mind that. I'm going to give that a light W. I actually like that a lot more than the past two tracks. And I thought that was a very fun track, to be honest. Like, it was a little bit different, you know, from what they normally do. And that's something I'm realizing um, with this album. I feel like it's a lot, you know, there's a lot more experimenting. Similar to, like, their first two albums that they had ever released. Where it's kind of like they just don't really know what they're doing. And they're trying to find their sound and experiment with different ideas and concepts. And so far, that's, like, literally exactly what they're doing. They're doing exactly what they did with 39 and Smooth. And I don't mind it, but I do feel like, you know, you've kind of gotten to the point where you know your sound. So experimenting like this is kind of a make or break for you. It's definitely kind of a risky thing thing to do and so far i'm not very like impressed by it but yeah that song i thought it was a fun song there's not much more i could say about it they had a freaking harmonica a harmonica i mean what what can what can i say about that you know but on to the next track which is track number nine jackass all right hey I actually don't mind this one. This one also is just a very fun track. Ah, oh, you got that. What is that? I think that's a saxophone, but it kind of sounds like one of those kazoos. I don't know why. That wasn't bad. I didn't mind that. That was jackass. I thought it was alright, you know? I am i didn't show the lyrics the whole time. Again, I am so sorry. I'll give it a like W. Um, I think the concept was very similar to the last track where it's a lot more fun, you know, they kind of did a lot more fun things with it. They had a damn kazoo in there, I think. Yeah, I mean, so far, there just hasn't been anything too insane about this album, but on to the next track. Hopefully the next track's better. Waiting. Okay. All right. I should mind this. I like this. Yo, I'll be for real with you. This, this is such a messy-ass album. <laughs> this album is so messy. It just does not know what it wants to do. It's not bad, though. This is actually a really good song. I don't know why I keep wanting to do this for some reason. Yeah, it's cool. It's the acoustic guitar. There it is. A little predictable, ain't gonna lie. That was a good song. I I'm gonna be fair with you. That song did not know what the hell I wanted to do. Um, I'll give it a light mid, uh, or light light W. Apologies. Um, it was a good track though. You know, it it was a fun track. You know, it showed some cool ideas, but I do feel like that it was definitely one of the more uh it, one of the more messy tracks. I feel like it had some fun ideas, but I just did not know what I wanted to do. Whew, this one, this is a interesting album. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's go to the next track, which is Minority. A lot of folk like esque guitar riffs, you know. I don't know why that took me so long to like say that. I don't know what the hell this song is, man. I like the message. Message is cool, but it's a wild song. I don't know. 
Bro, I'm starving. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the hell that was. I'm be sure with you, but I really like that. I think that might be one of my favorite songs. That actually might be my favorite song in this album. Um, I feel like it's just the most interesting one, honestly, and I feel like it's just the funnest one. Like the one, like I feel I was enjoying it the entire time. You know, like again, really messy, just completely, just all over the place, like sonically and instrumentally but i mean the lyrics are pretty straightforward vocals are pretty okay i didn't really mind that um it was just a fun song and i really enjoyed that oh uh, this one's gonna be hard to review um next one is macy day's parade all right i don't know why i thought he was gonna say call of duty all right oh this one's really nice I like that viol, like that little violin in the background. Yeah, right. I like that. Honestly, for an outro to an album, it was pretty solid. I'd give that a W. Um, I think that sonically, it's definitely one of the better tracks on here um it kind of like actually knew what it wanted to do compared to the rest of the album it was a sweet song it wasn't bad i think like if they were gonna have a more tamer song that was more like just a sweeter song that this would be it you know i'm not mad at this if this played i would you know honestly i might go out of my way to listen to this song if i wanted to you know if i felt like it but it's not bad I, generally solid way to end off the album but yeah we did it we reacted to warning to be honest i had no idea this album existed and i think i understand why i had no idea this album existed but i i kind of understand because it's definitely compared to the last album you know it's sandwiched between two very iconic albums you know nimrod and american idiot it makes sense that this would get forgotten because this album compared to the last two albums and compared to what we're gonna get into in the next album it's definitely something i like the ideas you know i understand why they did it like they wanted to do something different because their last you know few albums were pretty similar even though i do love the last two albums they are very similar albums they wanted to try something different so that's what they did and i will say it had good ideas and it had some cool concepts but i feel like the execution could have done been done a lot better i feel like there's no cohesion throughout this album i feel like every single song on here is just completely going different lanes you know like lefts and rights and ups and downs and it's not no straightforwardness it's just a complete mess and while there are songs that i do appreciate and i do like and i do enjoy I feel like there's also a lot of forgettable songs on here. It's just a very messy album, you know? It just doesn't know what it wants to do. Uh, there's, like, elements of, like, pop rock. There's elements of punk. There's elements of, like, folk rock and, like, folk alternative a lot of these just kind of sound like throwaway tracks too maybe tracks that just didn't make it through the last album so they decided to put them on this album you know i don't know but if i had to give this a rating i probably honestly probably would give this like a 6.4 out of 10 you know it's not a bad album you know i do think the production value is still good but i feel like everything else is just very messy you know there's some good ideas and good concepts here but i feel like there's not enough good to outweigh the big problems and i feel like there's too many songs on here that are just whatever you know there's too many songs on here that i just wouldn't return to but yeah let me know let me know what you guys think about this album let me know what you guys would rate this album um would you who knows so maybe you would rate your favorite album i don't know but for me it's definitely one of the more mid albums uh the more lackluster albums um that's also another thing i feel like the energy in this album is very off you know there's really no energy put in this album very lacking in power and it's just a very lackluster album sonically i don't know maybe that's what they were going for but yeah let me know what else you react to subscribe to the new channel tom post case bell so you're notified as to know upload uh, make sure you guys go check out my ahy i'm gonna be leaving reviews on all these albums there make sure you go check out my discord server also in the description i'm gonna be active on there a lot more other than that i hope you guys have an amazing day night evening wherever you are i'll see y'all tomorrow peace Still half empty, I feel like a pessimist She thinks she in love but she only half met me She don't get